Next category, the LSN Awards Top 10 Plays of the Major League Football not Season. Not easy, not easy. But if you paid attention this season, or even you're just a casual fan, you can likely guess what number one is going to be. A play that went viral back on the 4th of July. So, spoiler alert, that's it. But <laughs> we got to count you down. Number you 10. You got to remember, though. We got the launch and the blaze. And Kieran McArdle, first shot, no good, but woo! Never give up. Never give up. That's a tough break for Dylan Ward. Mm, Just the one-handed snatching it out of the air and then just whoop. Oh, man. Poor you're, Dylan you're Ward. Be, he's, he's I don't even know bummed. if you really realize that. There it is Kieran right there. That's it. why you never give up. Play to the whistle, kids, and you'll make yourself uh, on, on the list. At number nine, Romar Dennis. Oh, the rookie got some moves. That's just filthy. I mean, uh, this is stupid. I mean, you, you look at that jump shot. There's only a couple of guys in the league who can go out there and not not like a, uh, for one, he absolutely shakes the shakes the shoes off of uh, Dominique, Dominique Alexander. Alexander, who's one of the best short stick D middies in the in the world. And then he and then he gives the, the Kyle Harrison jump shot, you know, just a quick little snap. Uh, it's not like he's setting his feet time in room crow hop. It's a jump shot. Yeah, that's incredible. I, I mean, you look at Romar Dennis, Peter Baum, Max Sebald, maybe Connor Busick. Those are the only guys in the league that can make that happen. You had to actually go back and go, oh, wait, he was beyond the two-point arc because he made it look that easy. That goal also changed the complexion of that game. Outlaws winning in and Ohio. Unbelievable. At eight, Rattlers and Denver. Jordan Wolf to Jeremy Boltis and woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Game winner. Yeah, that, and I think this is a, this is a really good goal. You know, I'll give him that. But I think the gravity of the moment here, when you need to get a win, and you're playing against Jack Kelly, and you're playing against Denver, the defending champs. In Denver. In Denver. They haven't lost all season. Yeah, I, this this was this was for me more about the moment than the goal, because we've seen these goals scored before. But it is a pretty darn good goal. I'll tell I, you what. It's up there in one of the uh, most. It's a great back cut, too. Yeah. Man, that's just good. That's good team play. Put the, the fun in fundamental. One of the most stylish game-winning goals we've seen. Uh, all right, Bayhawks, Rattlers at seven. Lyle Thompson at the X. And look at this. Little sidewinder. Got it in there. Some, I mean, that's uh, that's know. great body control because he is below the goal line. Yes. When you, when you see this, he, he, no comes, he comes up, and then he gets turned back. I mean, that's really good defense by Matt Dunn. And then, oh, is that Chris Elaine coming out of the, uh, of the box a little too aggressively? Didn't anticipate uh, you know, Lyle being able to, to cut yeah. that in there. That's that's just tough break. Yeah, that's that's, that's just great play. Just a great <laughs> stick work. Getting closer to the top five. At number six, Curtis Dixon. He didn't play a lot of games for New York, but when he did. And the thing that's impressive about this for me, it looks like an indoor goal because he jumps from way further back than we're used to seeing uh, used to seeing guys jump from. And you, you look at when he dives. He dives from all the way behind the back part of the crease right yeah. there. And then he gets it in. I think that's what throws Kelly off. But it's a great athletic play. I mean, uh, the crease is, is a it's, lot wider yeah, than people give it say, credit for. I was going to say, it's one thing to do that indoors. It's another thing to do that when the crease is that big I mean, you outside. Gotta, you got to go a full six yards in the air to get to the point where he did there. Yeah. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, I think the Denver Broncos may like him as a receiver. Might as well. At five. Denver and New York once again, but this time going the other way. Matt Cavan naughty. So bad. A little different take on this one. This one is like the the OG. This is like the Air original Gabe. Eric Gabe. Yeah. What's fun about this? It's like Spud Webb dunking in the dunk contest. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you get a guy uh, who, not big. Who, is, who isn't big. I mean, 5'7 with cleats on. And he goes in there and is able to dunk it on the side. I think, again, you're not expecting him to do it, but but showing the uh, showing the determination. And he's like, well, you'll give it to me. I'll take it. All right. I'll put it in the back of the net. He's an exciting player to watch. Tell you what. Caffinati on the nice list. Built a 50. Watch At him. four. Bayhawks and Rattlers, Josh Burr. Like, come on. Just I get it towards the goal. Scored <laughs> seven goals in this I, game. I mean, you, you look at this one, and you got to have real strong forearms to make this happen. <laughs> and he's going out there, he's coming down, and he just throws it in. Oh, I, by the way, beat John Galloway. Beat John Galloway. And uh, this is just, again, not giving up on the play. Rolls back, loses his footing. Not a whole lot he can do. Might as well get it going towards the goal. In that tight, all you have to do is get it where the goalie's not, and that's exactly what he does. It's just, the rookie was spectacular this year. Speaking of spectacular, on the on the other side of that matchup, 
we have the Rattlers Joe White, and he is such a special Unbelievable. player. Unbelievable. I mean, first you, you, you watch the, the ground three? ball, and then he gets the uh, gets the fake in there with the, uh, toe drag. with the toe drag. It's unbelievable. And then just spin, spin move and then BTV. The I, it's it's like a video game. It's like oh yeah, circle, circle, square, uh, turbo. Can perfect. you even do that in the KC Pal video oh, game? No, I don't no think way. so. No like, way. You break, break the whole thing. Yeah, it would freeze. <laughs> just freeze up. That's that's. So yeah, the top two have to be back. pretty special, and and this one was just ridiculous. Blink and you miss it. Mark Cockerton against the Lizards. Check the one-handed pickup and then no look. Yeah, he's, he's got the Indian pickup there. Throws it around the around. That, that's incredibly difficult to do just in the open field, but to do it in traffic like that and then get it off as quickly as he did. I mean, it's in his stick for less than a second, and then it's in the back of the net. I, that's just a heads-up play. Get your stick in there, pick it up, take it out of the stick, just boom, right around the corner. Like, Degree of difficulty is 11 on that like one. There are like four lizards Impossible. just standing there going, huh? How did that just happen? Yeah, sorry, guys. But as we already told you, number one, it couldn't go anywhere else. Jack Kelly from his own crease. Sorry, Adam Gittleman. That one will run you 80 yards from uh, from crease to crease. That's a uh, that's a tough one, right over the shoulder. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you gave me a bucket of balls and a goalie stick, I could hit the goal from the other side of the field. But to put it top cheese like he did, right over the shoulder of Gittleman. I mean, that's just a tough break. By it, the way, it. While Gittleman wasn't really paying attention, it's top, he's still, it's top he's still right in the standing in the goal. Yeah, it's not like it's an empty net. No, I mean that one hit. If, if that was like any further inside, it would hit Gittleman in the lid or something. But that one is top corner, unbelievable. Jack Kelly, a goal we will see forever. Your number one. One can only hope.